Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at another app. This one is Crystal Adblock. Now, you may have heard last year Apple added support for ad blockers right within Safari, and this was one of the first ones to come out. This is the one I downloaded. Now, a lot of the ad blockers are fairly similar. I'm sure you can get free ones that probably work just as well. This just happened to be the one that caught my eye when it first came out that I decided to download. It's about a dollar, which is not a whole lot in theory, but if you can get it for free, you might as well. So, let's get right into it. So as you can see when we launch into the app, as usual, there's not a whole lot going on here. There's just a button to get to settings where you can basically flip on crystal here, which is how you get started with the ad blocker itself. So to start off here, I'm basically going to give you an example of how well it blocks ads. So you can see on BuzzFeed's website here, there's not a whole lot of ads going on right here, but if you flip it off, you will get a banner ad at the top. You'll also get this ad down here. You'll see right here, you will get an ad here. Now, you can consider this an ad, it does not, so it's not going to get everything, but as you can see it does get some other stuff too. So overall it does cover most of the ads, it's not going to be perfect. You can report sites yourself if you see it's not working properly. So as you can see here from their app store page, you see they're boasting a lot about 50% of your data saved, as well as longer battery life, four times faster page loading. Now, obviously all of these are a bit exaggerated. I'm not sure any of them are accurate, but you will get some benefits from this. So I'm going to show you in a speed test what kind of speeds you get loading pages first without the ad block on at all. Alright, so here we're going to go ahead and load BuzzFeed without the ad blocker enabled, without any ad blockers enabled, and see how long it takes. It seems it's done, I'm not sure why that's not loading. Now I have enabled Crystal, so we're going to reload the page and see what kind of time we get. So as you can see, definitely significantly faster. I'm not sure if it was four times faster, you can see right on the screen here if it was, but certainly faster. Now as far as battery life is concerned, I don't honestly know. I've been using it for months, but I don't really notice. I don't use Safari all that much, so I don't know if it's you know that much longer, but you know. So then as far as saving you data is concerned, I'm sure it does because it's not loading quite as much. I think that varies depending on how much you use Safari. I don't use it a whole lot, and I don't honestly know how much data it saves without doing a whole lot of tests. As you can see, I do have unlimited data, so I do use way too much data as it is right now. But I'm sure you get some benefit out of it as opposed to having nothing on. So that just about covers it. Content blockers and ad blockers have always been kind of controversial because people say you're taking away ad revenue from websites, YouTube creators, all sorts of things. Other people say, oh, they're great, you should use them, they've speeded up a whole lot, and it's just a lot easier on the eyes not having to look at ads. Personally, I don't use a content blocker or ad block or anything on my computer. I just deal with it because I got a lot of screen real estate, I don't want to take away the ad revenue from especially YouTubers, but even just websites that I go on. It doesn't bother me a whole lot. If there's something particularly bad, some sketchy websites you're going on, I do have it installed so I can flip it on if I need to, but for general use I don't have it on. Now on my iPhone on the other hand, it's a kind of a different story because there's not a lot of screen real estate. I'm also not loading things as fast without it, and I feel like on here you notice that a whole lot if you're on a data connection. Saving battery is also a benefit of having it on. So I think the pros outweigh the cons, and I, it doesn't work in the YouTube app or anything like that, so I'm not taking away ad revenue from people like that. So I think it's worth having. As far as which one you should get, I, I don't think it matters if you get this one or any others. They probably all work fairly well, but I can tell you from personal experience this one does work and it's only a dollar, so if it's something you're interested in, it, it probably is worth getting. So as far as functionality is concerned, I would give Crystal a 5 out of 5 stars. So thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post new videos every single Sunday, so until next week, 